It's no secret that distance learning has been a big adjustment for teachers, students, and parents. And now new numbers are showing a rise in lower grades across the country, particularly in low-income households. News 8's Amanda Shotsky spoke with one South Bay teacher who says he is not surprised by the findings. Wham. In a school year unlike any other, students and teachers are all working to navigate learning at a distance. I do like the material, but the connection with the students is, is you know, my number one thing. And it's not the same on, on the screen. Sean Meisner is an English teacher at Bonita Vista High School. He sees firsthand the challenges some of his students are facing in a virtual classroom. At least half. Uh, are, you know, are uh, having a very difficult time with it, where the other half seem to be uh, adjusted. According to data compiled from the Sweetwater Union High School District, D and F grades are up among high school and middle school students, and they're not alone. Schools across the county and the country have seen a surge in low grades during the pandemic. Meisner says he's not surprised as the South Bay has been hit particularly hard. A lot of them have had are sick with COVID or have members of their family who have tested positive. I've had students who have had family members die. And so, uh, yeah, how can that not affect the students? Experts say a number of factors can have an effect on a student's ability to succeed during these already challenging times from distractions at home and anxiety to limited internet access and homelessness. Teachers continue to make adjustments where they can and have more compassion. In the past, never used to take late work. And now the students can turn it in whenever they have it done. Meisner says he's confident that while some students may fall behind, they'll be able to adjust and catch up once they get back on campus. Teachers want to be back. This is not what we want to be doing. And when it's safe, we will be back. Amanda Shotsky, News 8.